I'm Alexandra and this is my third broadcast. If you haven't seen my second or my first, watch them before or after this one. I'll get to them soon. Now, we are going to China, Shanghai, right there. Now, I live right here, around here. Fun fact, if you go from here to China, that's halfway around the world. Now isn't that funny? Now it's time for some comparisons. Here in the USA, we have 140,000 coronavirus cases. And actually we're number one with that, but don't have a party with like a 50 layer cake. That's how you spread more disease and this is the one thing you should never be proud about in your whole life, okay? Thank you. Now, in China, they have 82,000 cases of coronavirus. Crazy, because they have 1.3 billion people. That's the most people in the world. That's insanity that they have such low cases for a large number of people. In the USA, we only have 330 million people. Nothing compared to 1.3 billion people. Nothing. How did China solve this? That's what we're gonna try and figure out on the interview. Let's go. Hi, Martino. Hi, Alex. You guys are in Shanghai, China, correct? Yes, there we are. You went to Italy and then back to China, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you running from the coronavirus or is it chasing you like a dog? Yeah, it's maybe both of them. We are trying to escape it, but uh, it's running after us. It's following us. And <laughs> so the time here is 10.54 p.m. What time mm -hmm. is it there? Here is 10.54 a.m. So we are 12 hours uh, in front of you. We are in the morning here. On the other so, side of the world. No, on the opposite, opposite side. side of the world, yes. Martina, you work in Wuhan, China. Mm -hmm. Which is where all of this was first detected. And I go there very often, although we, we live in Shanghai, but uh, I travel to Wuhan very often. So I was there in January when everything started. Did you know right away that it was going to be a problem? There was some information during January in Wuhan, but uh, it was very little and uh, we were not expecting this to be a very big problem. You know, in end of January it was the Chinese New Year, which is similar to our Christmas. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so we were having parties and uh, dinners. Uh, we had the company dinner with 400 people, uh, everybody laughing and singing and dancing, and uh, uh, nobody was thinking about the virus at that time. But a few days later, when I left Wuhan, uh, they shut the, the complete city with 12 people, 12 million people inside. So uh, I, I was very surprised, and I thought, you know, it was not reasonable, but uh, in fact, uh, after a while, we found out that the thing was serious and uh, what they did was just what it has to be done. Alex, you speak really good English, you live in China, and you know Italian. Do you speak Chinese? A bit. And what, what can you say to us? My name is Alex in Chinese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, can you say it? Say to them. <laughs> That's my Chinese name. <laughs> yeah, I can speak Chinese as well. How many countries have you both traveled to? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, About nine? Nine? Eight. Eight or nine for Alex. 
Well, we have traveled uh, a lot up and down uh, from China to Italy and from Italy to China every year. Now, seven years we are living in China, but of course we go back to Italy and uh, we travel quite a lot. This year, actually, dur during the virus, we have been on, uh, in India because I had to travel there for work and uh, Alex uh, and Amy came with me in India. Then we went to Thailand. We went to Thailand went to and uh, Japan. Japan. Now for some numbers and comparisons. Mm -hmm. Where you live, there used to be, before you got all these recoveries, 81,999 cases. So that means if you have one more case, you'll be at 82,000. The recoveries in China, though, have been 75,100, which is very good compared to most places. So we have temperature temperature check from the from the doctor here. So we have to answer that uh, is, uh, during the quarantine. We have the temperature check. Just a moment. You guys just had to do a test, right? Yes. During the quarantine, uh, the doctors come to your house in uh, China, here in Shanghai, two times per day to check your uh, temperature and uh, to see that you are not uh, getting a fever. You have. 45 new cases in the last, I don't know how long. Yes, which is very long. The last two days, actually, most of the new cases are coming from uh, abroad. That is also why they let us uh, have quarantine and uh, very strict quarantine, actually. They control all the people coming from abroad and uh, they ask you to be in the house or or in a hotel where they send you and you stay in one room in the hotel for uh, 14 days you cannot get out you cannot even get on the corridor of the hotel you know the the virus coming back from outside china is what they fear the most we never got it we never got it because when we got back to china from italy which was a very long trip and very complex trip because uh, more or less uh, all the airports and the planes uh, were shut down. So we, we found a plane and we passed through Tokyo. Uh, we went to Rome by train from Florence because there was no flights. And then uh, we slept in Rome. Then we got uh, the flight to Tokyo, to Japan. In Japan, they inspected us very carefully <laughs> because... They were afraid of the virus and uh, uh, then we got a, a flight to Shanghai and we arrived here. And when we arrived in China 10 days ago, uh, they test us for the virus and uh, yeah, but they, they put this uh, stick in your uh, mouth and in your nose and get some uh, fluid uh, from, <laughs> from your nose, up your nose actually. Yes quite disturbing down. but uh, anyway up very here. Yeah, yeah yeah up to here and down your throat and uh, they, they catch some uh, some liquid and uh, they make the test and uh, it took eight hours so we slept in a in the gym on uh, some small chairs <laughs> and uh, and then they gave us the result of the test which was negative and uh, they they sent us here with a government car uh, uh, we were not allowed to get a taxi home because uh, we are in quarantine. So they, they bring us here and uh, we stayed at home. And uh, in the next uh, 10 days, it was actually very strict. They put a switch on the door to control if we open the door. Uh, the first day I walked uh, the dog down in the compound and uh, the, the police came to the house said that uh, we are not allowed to do it. So you guys said that you have a dog, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, her name is Nico. And uh, Nico is uh, Alex's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we found it on the street a few years ago in, in China. And uh, we got it home. Now it's with us. So where's your dog right now? Yeah, our dog is in... Uh, dog hotel because when we came back for the quarantine 
he was at home and uh, and yes i went to walk it uh, down on the street uh, they told me off they told that uh, it's, <laughs> i cannot do it so so yeah almost arrested the police came to the house and everything so so we had to uh we just knocked on the door they didn't really like pop out of the roof or anything like yeah that. no no, no. <laughs> they, they came at the door and they ring the bell and say oh, we are the police you get we went out i said yes i went out to walk the dog Ah, I cannot do it, I cannot do it. <laughs> so, so, he's so not here, here and we'll come back after, after the quarantine. Okay. How's your view outside of the window? Hmm. Well, we can show you. We are on 19th floor here. And I will not look down. So, you said that quarantine means you have to check in with a doctor twice a day. Yes. What else does that mean? It means you go over the buy your food. Yeah, you have to have delivery. You cannot go shopping for the food. You have to stay home. Stay home and uh, we do many activities. We play games, we study, and Alex has online schooling. So he has four lessons per day uh, on the computer. Three or four, five. Depending, five even. Do those less. people deliver it to you? Like they ring your, they put it on your porch and then they ring the doorbell, or do they literally ring the doorbell? You open the door and they just give it to you because you can't go out. No, they just put it on uh, in front of the door. They ring the bell and they go away. So we open the door, we find the, the grocery there. We don't have contact with the people delivering. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they just run away before we just do. run away <laughs> before we open the door. <laughs> Actually, the doctor and even the police arrived at our door, all covered uh, with with jacket, plastic jacket, and the goggles, and uh, uh, everything is covered. And uh, they 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 look like uh, moonwalkers. And uh, the <laughs> first time was scary when when we when we brought Nico down. The police came, four people in front of our door, all dressed up and uh, telling us off that uh, <laughs> I shouldn't go out. And then in the evening, all the doctors came. Uh, it was another four people uh, explaining to us for half an hour that we are supposed not to get out of the door and uh, that we, if, we go, if we went out of the door again, they would arrest us. <laughs> so <laughs> that's... Uh, so we said, okay, maybe, maybe we're staying in. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather stay in than have to go to jail for just going out. How are you keeping busy? Well, we play a lot of games, we play a bit of iPad, watch movies, and we mm -hmm. cook Actually, some fun stuff, yeah. eat pizza. Play some iPad is not exactly... The truth is it. Well, play a lot of time. iPad. <laughs> yeah, you play a lot of iPad. Do you, Alexandra? All of those pretty much sound like me. What does the world need to know? Because this hand is China, and this hand is the rest of the world. It takes different actions against the virus, depending on the country situation, and in China. Uh, it was a very, very strong fight against the virus. Basically, they stopped the country for a couple of months, which uh, was a very big cost and a very big challenge for all the population. But at the end, uh, it was uh, effective. How do you think we can work together to have less cases as a world? Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a good question, actually, because uh, I think uh, from what we have seen here, China has a different approach from the rest of the world. We, uh, we need really to put our best effort. Every person has to put his best effort to, to fight and uh, to, to win this uh, thing. Thanks for the interview. I hope you guys stay safe. Have fun during quarantine. Thank you, Alexandra. And Very nice to speak to you. and. Uh, We'll see you next time. See you next time and take care too. Eh? Uh, we all take care all over the world.